Hey there, so I got requested to show you all of my kind of gothic jewellery, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I think I've kind of, kind of roughly grouped it, so we'll see how that goes. Um, first of all, we have what I'm wearing, which I've taken most of it off. Um, I have that cameo necklace. I got most of my jewellery in Glasgow, just in town, at all the kind of goth shops, so I'll get that. And then I've also got my spider earrings. Um, and what else? And this here, just I've got a kind of horseshoe spiked earring and just a kind of barbell because that one's only about a month and a half old. I'm going to put a spike in that and then I'm going to get one in the other ear too and put a spike in that too. A bit um, like Voltaire, a bit like his piercings. It's just, just, that's just so cool. Um, make it industrial as well, I'm not sure. While I'm on the subject, I'm also thinking about getting two nose rings on the one side, just two tiny little silver ones, really tight ones. I think that would be dead cool. But yeah, um, I've also got all the kind of bracelets I wear. If I'm feeling like wearing bracelets, I'll just wear all of these. So I've got this one. Um, an ex-boyfriend got me it. I'm still good friends with him. It's um, it's a kind of Celtic-y, dragon-y thing. It's purple. Um, I've got a kind of um, silver one. A kind of um, Charles Rennie and Macintosh rose design all around it. I've got some skulls. I've got um, some black dice and some white dice. I've also got some black and white dice. I've got a kind of silver chain. Um, I got this one from Florida. It's just a really cheap um, black thing. And I got this um, from another ex-boyfriend. I'm still friends with him as well. Um, in fact, I got that for Valentine's Day last year. It's, um, Get like a cross on it. It's black and it's gorgeous and it's over it's so nice. Um I've got I only really wear this if I'm wearing a dress. It's got a flower on it and a ribbon. I just kind of it's like a choker. Um most days I'll be wearing this. I think I wear it in most of my other videos. It's just a um skull on a sword. Um, I think I got that on holiday. Um, I've got my other piercings. I've just got a kind of silver spiral. You probably can't see that at all. Silver spiral and a kind of captive bead one. I've not got that many yet. Um, I've got all these, um, oh, dropped it. I've got a whole load of um, pendants. It's a skull one. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. A kind of cross thing. Um, the dragon one that I never wear. And I've also got a skull one. Um, and then I've also got a I think my friend Kira got me this for Christmas for my birthday one year. I've not really worn it that often. I feel really bad. I told her I'd wear it all the time. It's just um like kind of it's just a necklace. <laughs> uh, I've got this choker that I wear most days. It's just um I made it myself. It was um it was a belt, but I just kind of cut most of the end off and made some new holes. That's a choker. Just get little studs in it. Um, I've got another earring that I wear kind of usually. And it looks a bit silly. It's got um, it's got a fake cuff thing. It just goes like that. And it's dead cheap, and you can tell it's dead cheap, and it's a bit icky actually. Um, I've got um. This ring, off a friend actually, I think I 
gave him a couple of my rings because I've got really small fingers. So, um, oh, I've got that silver ring as well, but it's a bit plain. Um, so getting rings is really difficult. And this one's adjustable and it's like a skull. And it usually goes on this finger, along with like four other rings. Um, I've also got this. It's, um, it's actually the second one exactly like this that I've had. My first one I would have been, um, 13. And I went to... There's um there's a golf club in Glasgow, the Cat House, and um, I used to go there from the ages of like twelve and a half to about fifteen and a half. I didn't go like all the time, but I went sometimes. Um, and by the time I reached fifteen and a half, I realised it wasn't that cool to be a catty ween. I didn't really want to be, it was full of scene, it became full of emos and scene kids and it was a bit crap. <laughs> they played the same songs all the time but um, basically the first one I got I was going out with someone at the time and um, I might have been, I think I was sitting on his lap and he kind of took it off so he could um, kiss my neck and he put it next to him and I got to pick it up and I never saw it again so I got another one and I never wear it. Um, I've got a studied bracelet as well. Um, this is kind of the first goth jewel piece of jewellery I ever got when I was 12. And I think I got it the first time I went into one of the goth shops in Glasgow. And I went in when I was 12 and I was terrified. Because I had no idea what was going on. There were all these people and they looked so cool. I was with my cousin and um, I was just looking at all this stuff. I, was, I need to buy something. I don't know what to buy. I don't know what any of the stuff is. I don't have a lot of money so I just um, got this. It's a bit rubbish. Um, it's just like a scorpion. And I wore that for the rest of first year. Just kind of choke her like above my, um, like above my tie. Just like that. And everyone made fun of me. I didn't care. And now I'm going to talk about all my alchemy gothic jewellery. Um, so obviously I've got those earrings. And for Christmas I also got um, this earring. Which I can't wear as often as I, was, as I would like. But it's dead cool. I wear that. Just there. Um, I've also got this ring. It's um, two hands. I'll wear that all the time. And... In fact, this is the reason I decided to make this video today, because it's my birthday in a few weeks, but my guitarist, well he's the guitarist in one band and the bassist in another one of my bands, um, he won't see me until afterwards, so he got me some lovely presents, including this choker, which is absolutely beautiful. It's, ah, oh, it's so amazing. Let's get, um, a little thing there. I love alchemy gothic sort of stuff. I just really like Peter. Let's get a lovely grey chain. It's just so pretty. Um, so yeah. Um, until next time. I think I'm putting a video up before this and then, yeah. So, until next time. Which should be soon. Um, goodbye.